we're returning to a community that is going to be full-fledged in a very positive way, that it is going to affect, elevate, and help, you know, future generations. That's what's so exciting about this, because we're preparing future generations for a better opportunity in their life, you know, and that's empowering, and that's what I'm really excited about. We are at the Jamaica YMCA on Parsons Boulevard, where a forum is being held to start a conversation about the future of the community. Topics range from the revitalization of downtown Jamaica to youth development through local intern and mentorship programs. The Jamaica YMCA is rich in history and culture, being housed in the same facility for over 90 years. They cater to the needs of the changing community by providing members and non-members with a multitude of classes, programs, and services. Let's take a look at the featured guests for today's forum and what they have planned for the community. I just want to thank everybody for taking time again out of their busy day to come out. Um, this was a vision that we had to, to, to talk about in one of the wise initiatives, community building. That's one of our three main objectives is to help build community. And I kept looking at these, 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 these lines, these strands of thread that connect us all. And so I was able to, to pull together some of the pieces I think you will be excited about in terms of some initiatives that we're looking to do. So part of this is really first getting an overview and a perspective on the broad revitalization of downtown Jamaica. And with that, I'm going to bring up Justin Rogers from Greater Jamaica Development Corporation. Let's give him a round of applause. So to give you a broad overview, in terms of residential, there are approximately 6,000 new apartment units coming to downtown Jamaica and approximately 2,200 hotel rooms, new hotel rooms coming to downtown Jamaica. And as everyone knows, the reason why there's so much hotel density around the air train right here is because of the station and the air train to JFK and then a Long Island Railroad, which is a 20 minute ride into Manhattan. So what people could actually do um, is they could actually stay in downtown Jamaica for probably a third of the price that it would cost to stay in Manhattan. And it's only a 20 minute ride into Midtown. So there are about 5,000 square, 5,000 new units coming to downtown Jamaica. And I would say about 90% of those are actually affordable housing. The music has really continued to drive us. And it's, because it's opened so many doors for us, we also are sort of trying to leverage that now to bring it back to our community. And in that sense, uh, with my background in management, along with music and in hospitality, we're looking to bring a jazz supper club to downtown Jamaica. One of the best parts about being in the position that I'm in right now is being able to, again, to not only just see the world, but also bring it back to my community. Uh, I didn't realize what that meant, you know, prior to leaving. You know, you always kind of get into that feel like, you know, assuming like, once I'm gone, I don't want to go back. Like, you know, like, but when I was working, when I'm out there and I see, you know, everything that's going on, especially in the other, uh, underprivileged and you know poverty communities. I'm like, there's more that can be done at home. You know, to see the change and to be a part of it has been one thing that I've been blessed to. You know, now kind of embark on this new journey on, and uh, just really looking forward to what we can do here. Uh, I'll go back and sort of rewind a little bit. This, again, so we, we make sure we, we connect the dots. So the, the the first dot is understanding that there is great opportunity happening in downtown Jamaica. And the second part of this is the story about so many of the young men who've evolved through this community. And not only just the evolving through the community, but now the, 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 the 360 returns back, where they now have things to offer. And we would be remiss if we didn't do, take an opportunity to have a plan that included folks that are from this community in this development. And that's really what this is about. And so, in, in the third part of this, and, and hopefully my, my PowerPoint is ready, um, we're going to talk a little bit about the, the, the third piece of this, which is how do we connect our young people, the young people that are finishing high school now, to these great opportunities because 
in three, four, five years, these will be the consumers and the folks that will be the, the, the local business folks of tomorrow. It will basically have businesses pledge to do two things. One, provide mentorship and opportunities in the, pay, in the form of paid internships to young juniors and seniors in our community. That will be the first part. The second part of it will be to be a supporter and a sponsor to this YMCA so we can continue to feed youngsters through that system. On the other side, the YMCA will be working with partners like York College and Queens College and the other institutions in our community to both find the brightest and the best and to give them every opportunity for development so that everybody's in this together. And then on the back end, well, you know, one of the things I'm a big believer in when we talk about programs, what does this look like in the end? It looks like a young person who graduates from high school, has some financial support while they're away at school, or if they choose and enter a trade, right, they then, and, and we're not talking about all A students here. I'm talking about maybe that B or that C student who has the potential mm -hmm. to be great, who can see beyond mm -hmm. the basics, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And say, okay, you know what? Nobody's ever invested in me before. Because I'm a C student because nobody ever invested in me before. And then we turn around and we take that piece and now we create opportunity for that young person. And then we put them with the best and brightest of you folks. Because it's folks like you that make the difference in our young people's lives. I have yet to meet a young person who can't say that they've met somebody who is a positive influence on their development. And when we put, you know, there's an old saying, put a body on them. When we put a body on that young person that says, hey, I'm here to support you. I'm here to help you through some of your difficult decisions. I'm here to help you decide whether or not college might even be the right path for you. Right? Then we're giving them what they need. So now the youngster has the information, the empowerment to make the right decisions about their future. And the final piece is that having many of those young people now give back. Because ultimately, I'd love for this room to be ambassadors of this program five years down the road, to this room to be filled, and probably won't be this room, but be us using the room downstairs that holds 200 people where we have ambassadors and individuals who are the folks who will then be coming back to say, because of this program, I was able to live in my community, work in my community, give back in my community. So that's, that's the, that's the long-term vision. So, I want to remind us that this and everything that we're talking about today is absolutely possible. It's absolutely possible because in the community that I grew up in, in 1955 right through, the innkeepers looked like me. The doctors, the lawyers, everybody in every segment of the community that lived in the community had professions and they were serving their community. I am honored, pleasured, and pleased to be a part of this team. I see us as a team and if we unify, and we are the best of the best. All we got to do is dig down and refuse and refuse to be defeated. Know it today. Don't leave here today doubting yourself. Don't leave here today doubting your ability because you got it. You really do. You really do. I'm telling you not what I think, but what I know. Remember this, they cannot take from you what they did not give to you. Amen. Say that with me. They cannot take from you what they did not give to you. Well, the YMCA is a cornerstone of activity, of events, uh, especially for young people. And the Suffering Boulevard bit has 86 businesses that we take care of and we've got uh, 40 uh, land landowners, property owners. So there's a, a tremendous opportunity to be able to uh, have internships, to work 
in businesses so they can be, begin to understand what it's like for a business owner in their community. So there's, there's some empathy there as well as some training and some visioning because they can see themselves. They, they've got some great ideas and opportunities that they want to pursue, but they may not know exactly how to, to, you know, to navigate it. So by the end of YSEP, they're educated. They're educated and they've got some experience that they can take with them to wherever they go next. We're extremely excited about it. Um, we've been, it's a long initiative, long term initiative that we've been looking to really just bring to the community of Jamaica, Queens. And, um, you know, with, you know, great entertainers like Oba and, you know, inspirational individuals like himself. Um, you know, we want to continue to consistently bring life and rejuvenation to the Jamaica Queens area and we believe we can do so with our new Jazz Supper Club that's coming in the near future. It's always exciting to return to a place of your childhood and, and literally I went to this YMCA and the fiber that is part of me came from the things that happened here and now when I see the advancement if I was able to do, in the early maturations of my life, if I was able to be able to, 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 to take that and, 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 and go and do what I've been able to do, just think what the future generations of other young people coming to here today in this time is going to be able to do. I'm, I'm just thrilled and I'm excited and I'm a continued supporter of Cedric and the YMCA here in Jamaica. I've been coming to the YMCA since I was basically like 11 years old when I started in like 6th, 5th grade. and. It's been like a long journey and a fun journey with the YMCA actually because I've been going to rallies upstate at Greenkill YMCA. They take us everywhere. They took us to basketball games and we've been to a couple of college tours since I'm a junior now. So yeah, it's actually been a really good experience. And so to be able to provide opportunities for young people like Mark in this community, not somewhere else, in this community and to have the dots connected with the Justin Rogers who's involved with the development of the community, with the you know Rodneys who were involved with the vision of tomorrow and bringing a, a jazz supper club to downtown Jamaica. I mean, and then with Oba really bringing it home, talking about being a young man who was once Mark and now he's an entertainer, producer, director, dancer, Emmy winner, Tony winner. I mean, that's when possibilities become real to our young people, when they can see it, touch it, and it comes back. And so I really salute Oba for coming back and being real to our community. Go to ymcanyc.org backslash Jamaica for all the information. Now, if you're interested in one of our other Ys in Queens, just go to ymcanyc.org and all of the YMCAs are listed there. There's so many programs. Please take advantage of them. Our doors are always open. There are no barriers. We raise money to help support families who otherwise couldn't afford to come to this Y. So come in, money will be no object. We'll find a way to make it work.